This tutorial is going to be about how to use BanLab. So most of you at home probably don't have Macs um, and therefore can't access programs like Logic Pro X. And BanLab can be a really good alternative to this. It's free, it's available for um, PC, Macs, it's browser based. And you can even get it on your phone or um, tablet because it's available for the Apple Store and Google Play Store. It's called bandlab.com. Come here and sign up to create an account. Um, and then once you've got an account, um, you can log in. So I'm gonna log in. And then, the first time you log in, you'll probably come to some sort of page, um, uh, like a tutorial thing. But then after that, you get this sort of dashboard screen. A thing to note is that this works in Chrome. So you need to make sure you have the Chrome browser, um, but obviously that's free and available for everything pretty much. So once you're in here, I'm gonna go create and then I can create my track. So it asks me what kind of instruments I want. So instruments are like synthesizers or um, drum, uh, sorry, not drum machines, in, uh, synthesizers or sample instruments. Drum machines are, um, a se whereas this is more MIDI programming, this is more of a sequencer. This allows you to record from your computer microphone, but at the same time, you can record your voice, but you could actually just get your acoustic guitar if, you, if your mic's okay and try that, or even an electric playing out loud through an amp. And the same with these, um, essentially. Um, but these are kind of more uh, built for probably if you've got an interface um, and using one of those, which you can use with this. So to start with, let's start with a drum machine. So with the drum machine, we've got different patterns up here. And they relate to the sequencer down here. So I can see what it sounds like. Pattern A. Yeah, pattern A sounds like that. And then pattern B sounds like this. Yeah, and pattern C, we haven't created yet. So we've got kick down here. So I might want to go like that. And let's, uh, let's do something like that. And but, uh, no, what if we had like a big snare sound? Not quite, but we could, we could go and change the kit essentially. So maybe I've got acoustic kits and electric kits. Let's try this. So it sounds like, yeah, so that's what that sounds like. Very nice. So, and then we can add them up there um, by kind of clicking add, and then it adds a sort of MIDI, and we can see the MIDI essentially, and we can move it around. Um, so, uh, there we go. Um, so that's kits, and if we now go up here to add a track, I can add, let's add an instrument now. So I'm gonna go instruments, and then this gives me like a menu system down here. So I can go to synth pads, maybe, and the retro Juno pad, sounds pretty cool. And if I put down the octave, you should see that this looks like my computer keyboard, actually. Yeah, it's like my computer keyboard. So I can, if I play the C, B, and M keys, I actually only minor chords, yeah, E, G, and B. If I want to record this, I can hit record. One thing I've noticed, you might have to click this after you've hit record um, to like reselect it. Um, so if you try recording and you hit the keys and you don't get anything, just click click on this down here and it'll work. So, see, nothing. Three, four. Yeah. So when you've got a region now, I can trim it around like that and like that essentially. And double click on it and I can see the MIDI. So there we go. Let's go to start at the beginning. And I can move the whole region around. So it's just like logic. I can also use the loop up here to loop it out. There we go. So we are now looped. Okay. Yeah, so you can kind of loop things out and um, 
Well, I actually did not. Did I? No, I didn't change chord. So maybe I want this to change chord. So this works just like Logic. You can select, move them around. Yeah, so I want to do the major chord. Cool. So that's more like what I want. And, and then I can loop it out, essentially, yeah? So, yeah, it's popped in. Um, so that's different types of tracks. One thing to note is that if you double click on the region, you get the MIDI just like Logic. You can also click on the button down there for MIDI editor. So I'm gonna go back to another new track, instruments, so we could then stick a bass part on. So I could go in and load up synth bass and pick like a, a sound, essentially maybe attack bass, yeah. Yeah, and again. Yeah, and then loop it out and we're all good. So, I've got uh, instruments in. I could then also go and click add and click voice mic. And the important thing when you're using the audio ones is that you click on source and you tell it where it's coming from. So it's coming from the internal mic, channel one, and you can see I've got level because I'm talking to you. Um, so you could sing into this, you could talk, you could play acoustic guitar, you could even play electric guitar and, um, uh, you know, through an amp. Um, you can even play with clarinet. And stuff like that. So, or sax, you could try it, but you might have to go far away so that you don't distort the mic. And you can see that it, you see the level here, it's good level, but you don't want to distort it and hit the top essentially. Um, so, that is the source um, for our sort of audio track. So, we could record um, some audio. So, there we go. I can record some audio, and you can see my voice as I'm talking. There you go. So, you can see that. Um, another really cool feature is it's still got the loop function up here, so you can, if you just wanted to loop out, out the bar, there, there you go, you can do that if you really want. Um, and you can also go down here and you've got loops, so you've got like a loop library, like Logic, um, but it's much more artistically laid out. I like this way of doing it into different genres. So experimental landscapes, we could go into that one. And I don't know, you could try a few of these. You know, some weird stuff in there, I expect. Near Lake Gong. Yeah, so let's uh, move our track. Let's get rid of that rubbish. Um, and then you just, where it says drag a loop on audio file, we can just drag it down there into that. And then it pops in as audio. Move that there, move that back there, and now my track starts with the audio loop from the loop library. Um, yeah, and then we come in with our track. Um, so you've got all your tempo up here, stuff like that. You can name it up here, so demo uh, two, and save it. You can publish it. Um, and I mean, one of the last things to look at is if you uh, go up to file, download, you can download it as a mix down as, so you can download it as MP3 or audio, like WAV files and stuff like that. Um, and what if you're quite interested, like if I go on this, the drums maybe, I'm going to effects down here, so I go effects, and I can start adding effects. So we could add a little bit of distortion to this maybe, and then it gives me the settings for that, put the drive up, yeah, and then let's put some reverb. So you can try these out. I've not experimented with them all, but I mean, you can see you've got room size. So you can do a lot of mixing on it as well. It also has automation up here, so we can automate um, different things. So we could automate the mix of the reverb, um, you know, starting from nothing and ended up massive. So, got that. So, done. And you 
can see it coming up now. I've automated yet. So you can automate things, um, which is cool. It even records automation, which is quite advanced. You've got your mutes and your solos for different tracks, your panning, levels, and things like that. So, I mean, it literally does everything. You can even collaborate with other people. So I can send this track live to other people if I want to, um, which would be really, really cool to experiment with that. And it does some advanced MIDI mapping. If you've got a MIDI controller, then you can you can map your controller to everything. I mean, it's utterly brilliant. So what I want you guys to do is experiment with this and see if you can build a track. And if you build something really cool, send it to me and we'll have a listen. I'll see if we can put it out to you guys, all right? So, have a go.